I want to create a video art installation that will be displayed in an art gallery. I want people to realise that even though technology is becoming more and more integrated into our lives, we can't leave behind or forget the creative way words allow us to communicate. I have taken inspiration from Wes Anderson and his unique film style, specifically his symmetry. I really like the work of Namjoon Paik. I specifically am taking inspiration from his bright coloured paint and the old style computer monitors that he used as well as certain elements in pop culture. The actual installation will be a bit more like the work of Doug Atkin, who uses big screens to project his video art. I have chosen a 1960s aesthetic and will be basing a lot of what my model is wearing off of this photo shoot of Twiggy. My colour scheme is very important. The video will focus mainly on pink and yellow and the room that it will be installed in will be orange so that it bridges the gap and creates a gradient of immersive colours for the people to walk into. My short video artwork documentation will be targeted towards young adults and teenagers. My video artwork will be focused around the emotional stereotyping inflicted onto teenagers and young adults. I will be collecting a variety of different videos, incorporating multiple shots to execute my collage style formed video. One of my artist models that incorporates collage style into his work is an artist called Bernal Del Zoo. Like Berno, I want my video to involve many camera shots, convey a message, and have many different interpretations. I want to use this collage style concept in my film, not only physically, but metaphorically too. I will be incorporating layered scenes into my film to convey the idea of facades or emotional barriers and fronts genders put up. My second artist model is an artist called Chen Yi. Similar to Berno's style, Chen also takes individual elements from different photo portraits and then incorporates them all together to create one cohesive image. For component three, I wanted to create a video artwork that shows how your decisions shape your future, developed from my chosen theme of emotions. In my film, I also want to explore the psychological concept of how certain objects can trigger certain memories and emotions. I would also like to premiere my film on the 4th of September. This is the date Sigmund Freud released his book, The Interpretation of Dreams, as I was highly influenced by his theory of object relations and his concept of dreams. One of my artist models is Salvador Dali, as he too was influenced by Freud's work. To show emotions, I have choreographed a dance. The movements I have chosen represent certain emotions. I have decided to use dance because I feel that dance is a way to express inner feelings and emotions too complicated to say through words. In my film, I wanted to show a memory my character gets when they touch a certain object. This object that I have chosen is a teddy bear as I feel stuffed animals are universal and trigger certain memories such as childhood. For component three, I would like to create an artistic film around the philosophy of existentialism. This developed from my chosen theme of emotions. My film will be an artistic journey that explores a person's decisions, choices and emotions regarding their newly formed realisations and ultimately their fate, while using various objects such as dice and chains to project this. I plan to upload this online to an art website and online premiere. I also intend to upload my film on the 5th of May as this is the date of when Soren Kierkegaard, the Danish existentialist philosopher, was born, which became the start of the theories and concepts of existentialism. Existentialism is the theory and approach that emphasizes individual existence, freedom and choice, and my film is going to be shown for the purpose of helping people who are going through that traumatic stage in their lives. One of my artist models is Bill Viola, who is a contemporary video artist whose works use electronic sounds and image technology and new media. What I really like about his works is that it focuses on the ideas behind fundamental human experiences using a dark colour scheme to complement this. This made me decide to incorporate this sort of theme into my film. For my project next year, I will be making a short animation feature film, about two to five minutes long. This film will be played throughout the weekend that occurs on the 16th and 17th of May, which coincides with Pink Shirt Day. This event is very significant and it is about stopping bullying, creating a safe environment where everyone can feel valued and respected. My animation will play prior to the screenings of movies for the young adolescent demographic of around 10 to 19 years old. This demographic is one of the most affected by bullying in New Zealand and it is crucial for them to be educated about the topic as opposed to being blindly affected by it. 
It is key that the animation is played over the course of a weekend, as kids within this age bracket are far more likely to go to the cinemas over these two days as opposed to weekdays. A bully is generally thought of as someone with malicious intent that is purposely inflicting pain, mentally or physically, to their victims. However, there are also other forms of bullying. What most fail to consider is that in some cases the bully can unknowingly cause harm. I plan to make a short film about everyday travel and the impact on an individual. I want to discuss and explore how people in my city commute on a daily basis. Travelling to other places may be exciting, however, we can look at familiar situations afresh from a different view. I like to promote a new mode of public transport that we can appreciate through our everyday surroundings. I want to change the way people think about travelling and inspire them to become a modern planner in our society. This will be targeted to people who commute mainly in Wellington, New Zealand. Projecting it at a car park in my city could also inspire people to take public transport rather than paying for long hours of public parking. An artist model I'd like to incorporate in this project is Tom Killingback. He has an interesting style of cuts and edits which I would like to incorporate in my short film. There is also Doug Atkin who is a contemporary artist model. He is good at creating a conversation with the viewer and making them feel like you are experiencing surroundings with him. Using photographers, interviewers, and other fashion advertisement campaigning videos and research, I want to high fashion, why alternative fashion is appealing, its effect on our emotions, and the techniques that are used in advertisement videos to create a central and expressive mood. My aim will be to demonstrate the feelings and emotions that come with fashion in the style of many of my favourite photographers and directors, such as Paul McLean, who does campaigning videos for jewellers, fashion designers, and many others. Furthermore, many other artists I like also have this aesthetic to them. My film will include many different shots, ranging from long shots to show the whole outfit, as well as big close-ups to show accessories, shoes, or other smaller details and items. I also want to show the landscape as well as the clothing, as it will help set the tone and convey certain emotions. The emotions I want to portray will be confidence, poise, serenity, stimulation, and power. As these emotions are what are portrayed when we are wearing clothes that we are confident, comfortable in, and give us strength. I plan to make a five minute short film about fashion stereotypes and how it relates to emotions. For the audience, I want to focus on people who watch movies as lots of unrealistic stereotypes originate from them. One of my ideas is to have a notice advertised before the movies mentioning how these stereotypes are not based on real life. Coinciding with this, Stereotypes will be incorporated in the pink shirt day used for bullying on February the 26th. My first artist model is a well-known American fashion photographer, Pamela Hansen. I chose her because I liked the route she took with her photography. My other artist model is a well-known American photographer, Tim Walker. I decided to choose him as his style was completely different. Overall, relating these artist models with some of my ideas will hopefully change people's view on judging people by the specific stereotypes that we have placed. As Kiwis, we naturally enjoy freedom and are fortunate enough to have a government that respects that. But what if this wasn't the case? My mockumentary explores this what if, set in a world where the government has introduced a social credit system inspired by China's as a method of keeping Kiwis in line. Using typical documentary features, I aim to display authentic reactions from real New Zealanders that are both comedic and relatable. The goal is to target those who get caught up in how good the Kiwi life is and forget about our brothers and sisters on the other side of the world. China's social credit system is a reality for hundreds of millions of people, yet it is a topic seldom talked about here in New Zealand. This mockumentary will literally bring this issue into our own backyards and make the audience question how a system like this would affect them. Humour is a crucial element, as Kiwis feel more comfortable opening up in a safe and friendly environment, and comedy and laughter can provide that. I will be releasing this on the 12th of June 2021 for the Documentary Edge Online Festival. I want to create a 7 minute short artistic film which will focus on 
facial expressions and contrasting them to other emotions. If I'm presenting this video, I'd like to show it on an IGT video on Instagram to the public March 26th because that's National Self Confidence Day. I'll be using a projector to cast the video onto the face which will represent society projecting emotions onto us. One of my artist models, Ingrid Mwangi, focuses on issues of colonialism, oppression, gender and identity by using her body um, as a unique vocal technique. I'd also like to carry out her use of voices. My other artist model um, is Richard Springer and he's a New Zealand photographer who mainly focuses on New Zealand landscapes, sport and wildlife. I chose him as an artist model because I really like his photographs of New Zealand landscapes. My intentions for component 3 will be for it to be a documentary style short film based on my theme of emotions. It will cover the unseen aspects of ballet and dance yeah. and it will be displayed to the general public on World Ballet Day in 2022. I will post the finished video to social media and YouTube as it will reach a larger audience than if it was just contained in New Zealand. The film will display qualities of perseverance, determination and courage as it looks at the backstage world in contrast to what is seen on stage. My artist models for the project are Bess Cartman, who is the director of First Position, and Lewis Greenfield, who is a dance photographer. The target audience for this short film will be aspiring dancers as well as the general public who are interested in the behind the scenes world of ballet. The video will include well known variations, including Crystal Fountain Fairy from Sleeping Beauty by Tchaikovsky. To express my theme of emotions in my short film, I will make sure to draw attention to the themes of persistence, resilience and determination, as well as showing the contrast between freedom of performance and the hard work behind the scenes.